to those acquainted with hard ops as of 2.8 we added the alt v menu which comes up and offers you options if you're using ev4 using the high quality viewport or the low quality viewport however previously we kept it rather vague and it was kind of optimized to our own personal systems however if we jump into hq and we expand the tool panel you can see that there's now more preferences for than ever for customizing how you want the EVHQ experience to be. And if we press Alt V and we go to LQ, you can see that this alternatively turns everything off along with the global samples on everything from indirect lighting to shadow sampling being lowered down to 64 samples. If we press N, we can bring up the N panel where we can see the uh, EV, LQ, and HQ settings here. If we jump this up, we can see that now, whenever we jump up to HQ, that we'll be using 1024 versus when we jump down to LQ that we'll now be using 64 in the render area of the end panel of the hard ops end panel. So this is one of the new additions to hard ops to just make your life easier whenever you're needing to just go up and down in your quality and customize your experience. Uh, basically depending on your computer, some computers may not be able to have HQ uh, 4096 as its final experience. However, on something like a laptop, having something like 512 would definitely be more than optimal for your needs as far as seeing the finished results. So another thing I also wanted to show in this video is if I press A, I can select everything and we'll just make sure our last selection is a mesh here. And I guess nothing is a mesh here. And under settings, we now have options for export. And when it comes to export, these are the same settings that are here under the export settings, which you can access without any issue as well. However, we did also put them in the settings menu to make things a little bit easier for you. However, I have been pondering better places for placing them. I just realized that when it comes to exporting, a lot of people have been writing about why do my meshes show up incorrectly in Windows uh, 3D Viewer or uh, Marmoset or other programs. and with these, we actually have it set up to apply modifiers and triangulate so that whenever you export one of our assets over to ZBrush or 3D Code or whatever the application of your choice is, that you'll be able to get the result that you need. And if we go ahead and just test it, you can see that everything is checked here that you would need in order to get it to export to any application of your choice, since not all of them can uh, adequately convey in gun. So with that, we'll wrap up this video, and I'll see you guys next time.